your left brain and your right brain are two hemispheres in your brain, right? But the processing speed of those two hemispheres is completely different. When information comes in through your five senses, whether it's what you touch or what you see or what you smell or what you taste, when information comes in through your five senses, it's simultaneously sent to both hemispheres of the brain. And then the two hemispheres of the brain process through that sensory information, but it's a race. It's a race to see which left side or right side of the brain gets to the physiological center of the body first. Well, the logical side of your brain has like four steps that it has to go through. The emotional side of your brain has two steps that it has to go through. So nine times out of 10, your emotional brain wins the race to the physiological response that your body has. That's why there are so many people who have anxiety. That's why you and I have all been spooked by socks in the corner of our room and we think it's a rat, right? Because our senses send a signal simultaneously to both sides of the brain, but one side of the brain processes faster and gives us a physiological response first. When you mistake that pair of socks in the corner for a rat and you startle, what do you do immediately after you startle? You settle because you're like, oh, it's just socks. The other side of your brain just caught up. Yeah. So the one side turned on your fear response, the other side caught up and turned off your fear response. Well, what happens in media especially is they only have one response, right? If you watch CNN, that's what you watch. If you watch Fox News, that's what you watch. If you read the Wall Street Journal, that's what you read. Everything else is just secondary, right? It's like your steak versus your broccoli or your potatoes on the side. So what ends up happening is every news outlet out there just like every educational college, just like every good boss, just like every good advertiser or marketer, they've all learned that you just keep hitting that emotional response over and over again, and you never give people a chance to have the logical side catch up. Because if you do that effectively, how is McDonald's still in business? <laughs> That's a good question. Everybody it, knows that shit's unhealthy. Yeah. Everybody knows that stuff's Not everybody, kill you. apparently. They, they, all, they all know it. Yeah. That's what's so fascinating. They all know it, but the messaging and the narrative has been so effective that emotionally people don't respond to it. Yeah. So when they're hungry, they emotionally react to buying something that's comforting. Even though they logically know it's not going to feel good or be good for them at the moment.